Good afternoon. I'm Erica Sargent. Great to have you with us. I'm Joe Donlin. We begin here at five with a stunning view of the total solar eclipse from Texas to Maine today. The skies darkened for millions of people as the moon passed between the Earth and the sun. It only lasted four minutes, but we can tell you it was magical. We have team coverage of the eclipse. We begin with our Marie Saavedra and chief meteorologist Albert Ramon live in Carbondale with one of the best views of this historic event. Boy, it really was, and we got to share it with thousands of our new closest friends as we shared this uh, pretty emotional, intense, yeah. inspiring, and exciting moment in the universe. It was interesting because it was a buildup as we started mm -hmm. towards around the lunchtime hour and then accelerated. And for four minutes and eight seconds, something that I've never experienced, mm -hmm. I don't know if you have either, no. from both a visual and also just a sensory standpoint of being surrounded by 15,000 people. We have a little clip to show you. Two o'clock here in Carbondale when totality happened. Take a look. Totality, it's happening right now it's in here. Carbondale, Illinois, <laughs> the intersection of the 2017 and 2024 eclipse. And you're looking live as we see the last bit of sunlight wrapping around the moon. Totality just seconds away. And as you look closely, Marie, we're going to see the sparkles, the Bailey beads, and the crowd is going wild. Oh, and we are falling into darkness right now. What an incredible sensation. And you are hearing and seeing the crowd of 15,000 gathered here at Southern Illinois University. Oh, Albert. There it is. Incredible. Bailey beads, Bailey beads. And we're about to see the diamond ring effect and about to have the total solar eclipse here in Carbondale. Illinois on campus of Southern Illinois University. We are at a point right now where we have our glasses off and we are looking up. This is incredible. You're seeing that beautiful corona of the sunlight, the moon in that perfect circle right in the middle. That was a snippet of our coverage during the two o'clock hour here on CBS2. This is time lapse from one of our photojournalists, uh, part of our crew, Scott Placco of what was happening also. An incredible shot. I mean, just unbelievable to be here to see it and to witness it with you and our friends here in Carbondale. Worth the journey, and we met a lot of Chicago, Chicagoans and folks from the suburbs who made that trip. It included two teachers. We were so charmed by them. They're mm -hmm. from the southwest suburbs, and they ditched school today oh, to, to come down to Carbondale to, again, have that best view in the house. In 2017, we heard that the clouds were a little thicker, so we made the better choice, didn't we? Yep, yep. <laughs> and I felt so small you know at first that's what I want to say but also unity with the world you know really we're all here experiencing this together and it's an experience that we'll never probably have again I just thought it was awesome it was amazing <laughs> I just kept staring at it like oh my gosh I've never that's just awesome like just stunning stunning it was a, a good summation of the experience. I will also say we checked with the ladies. Uh, they did tell their principal, mm -hmm. so we do believe they'll still be employed uh, tomorrow <laughs> or whenever they return to school. Uh, you know, the big point of conversation now is the traffic. So many of you do. If you traveled anywhere during August 2017 yeah. for the previous eclipse, we heard some people, you know, staying overnight. That's what we were doing here in Carbondale. Or it took them... 10, 12, 13 yep. hours just to get home. So some people are braving it, others are hanging out like we are, and it's really a matter of what's best for your schedule. Uh, one thing I've, I've noticed from talking from people that mm -hmm. were from the Chicago area that traveled down here, they're waiting till tomorrow, as we are, right. because 2017 was a little bit of a traffic nightmare. Mm -hmm. I do want to say we lucked out weather-wise, oh, not just it. across the state. Of course, you had yep. a beautiful day in Chicago compared to yesterday, and we had a flawless day weather-wise. There was a couple of high thin clouds and overall even the forecast in parts of Texas a lot better. They were really they discouraged. Got lucky, yeah. yeah, with the cloud cover forecast. So there were millions upon millions of Americans that saw this eclipse today, perhaps because of where that line of totality went mm -hmm. with all the high population centers and everyone going to totality. This could have been the most viewed total solar eclipse in human civilization. Exciting. Think about that. Wow. Uh, we want to send it back to another weather expert, Mary yes. Kay, who, again, Mary, we can't say enough uh, good things about Mary the Kay. weather. Well, Mary <laughs> Kay. And the weather today. Mary Kay, we actually appreciated when we had um, totality because it cooled things off for us yeah. down here. And that had to be a surprising moment. I mean, wow. We've really enjoyed your coverage for a